So, welcome to the Turing Test. Uh, I hope that the name isn't a huge giveaway for a massive plot twist. Um, this is, I think, a sort of portal-like um, first-person puzzle kind of game. Uh, if you've watched my other videos, you may realize that I kind of go into games that I'm interested in with as little information as possible. Um, because I like to be surprised by things. Sometimes that ends up as a pleasant surprise. Sometimes that ends up with massive disappointment. But uh, either way, uh, I kind of like to do that just because... Um, it's surprising, and I like to kind of find out what the game is about as I go along, and and just live in the moment, I guess. Anyway, let's start. Okay, that's that's great. So I think this is sort of, um, near future, we'll find out soon, I guess. We seem to be in some kind of cryostasis pod thing. Morning, Eva. Good morning. Your wake up has been sanctioned by the ISA. Oh, that's good. We lost I don't want to break the rules. We lost 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. That's what, like nine days? Something? We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface, post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Okay. What's outside? Space! Is that Jupiter? Maybe? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. So it's uh, all going on in here. That's, that's locked. Uh, Sarah Brooke. Oh, these are the other, other cryopods. So it's 24, or, hmm. Some people wake up. To, oh no, this guy had a malfunction. So, uh, you're dead. Sorry. Sad. Um, we're supposed to wake up in 24... 43. Yeah. When did I wake up? 2250. Okay. Oh, my last name's Turing. It's just a, a reference. Okay. Reference, not spoiler. Or is it? That's a good way of getting around that. It could be a spoiler, or it could be your last name. For those who don't know the reference, I'm not going to explain it because it could be a spoiler. Armory. All right, let's get a gun. EMT. It's on oh. the side. He actually wants me to get the gun. Is this it? No. Uh, I'm not allowed to read the manual. Just look at it like an idiot. Oh, well. Oh. The glowing light okay. of God. We are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. Where is this so-called docking station? Uh, not there. Uh, let's check out this room anyway. Who knows? Docking bay hatch. Office. Uh, 
There we go. This is something nice. Oh. You guys. And here I thought I was going to get a flashlight. Unless I already have one. I, I don't. I'm pressing F. That probably... That always means flashlight. I probably don't have one then. What a bunch of trolls. I'm sure that's fine. This, this is the most lit... Um... The most well-lit space thing ever. I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa Lander is ready to launch. That's good. Thanks, Tom. Can I jump? I can jump. But not up there. That's that's just for storage. Mm, okay. That thing spins. That's its job. Uh, and this is this is the stairway to the awesome view. Uh, the the view isn't working right now. It's under construction, but uh, one day, one day, we will develop views. Bay three. I'm gonna check out. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna check out the other views or the other bays first. Make sure there's nothing. Nothing missing. Nothing suspicious. Looks like not. I have to say, could have used like a little info log or something. If there was ever a place for useless uh, little note collectibles, this is it. Hit the master switch. There's like a million of them. Retro. Go. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. Go. So Engaging retro fire. I'm running the program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. No, don't break procedure. It's illegal. Trajectory looks good. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. That's what happens when you we break procedure. Do you see we what you've done? Burn late. Burn late. Go. Full retrograde. Huh. Looks like you know what we're playing next, I guess. <laughs> oh well. That's fine. Open the door. Welcome to Europa. So Europa is a moon. I'm pretty sure it's one of Jupiter's moons. Very, very icy. It's either Jupiter or Saturn, but the, uh... Oh, come on, don't do this. Don't do this every time that there's a new loading screen. Not like this. No. That's, that's, that's gonna be a bad time.
especially since um, my my recording software is not going to be happy with that. Oh, I've got I've got the gun now. Oh, and oh, you're a scanner. I I got scanned. Oh, please the scan base me. Has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Macula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. To make creepy music. Okay, so here's where the puzzle starts, I guess. No? There. Okay. Got it. The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. Mm. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. Okay, so... Uh, he woke me up to do some secret agenda thing. Is that it? There we go. I thought there was glass there. Um, uh, yeah, so, very much like Portal. The robot AI is is they testing really have you. Completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Oh. Idle hands are the devil's plaything. Yeah, so, um, I'm guessing that he's up to something. No, I already said that. What was I saying? Uh, I was saying, um, it's a lot like Portal in that there's this, um, this AI who's making you do these tests for reasons. Um, okay, so if I go through those, those beams, it's gonna take it away, right? Oh, no. Uh, cause I can't go through there anyway. Uh, alright, is this a switch? Yes. Okay. So, that was that test. I learned how to switch the switch. Uh, I think a, a computer would have figured that out faster than I did just then. Um, I'm, I'm not doing too well in this test so far. Uh, I have to say... Can I pick this up? No. I can shoot the ball in. I can't pick that up. Here we go. Okay. I'm I'm learning to think with with uh, uh do you know the ground team's location? With Turing. The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. <sighs> they must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. 
Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. So, he could be an evil AI, or he could be um, trying to help me against the other evil AIs. This is interesting. But only in that uh, it's really obvious where the plot is headed, but it could head in two directions. Ah, here we go. Oh, no. I was wrong. It's really hard to tell which ones you can take out and which ones are just like base station relay things. Um, there you go. Ah. There. That did it. Oh no. So I can put this in here? Yes. Okay, there... This is a bit of bad game design. Um, you can't tell... Aside from whether there's a ball or, in it or not. Whether, um... So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. You can't tell whether... Ooh. Huh. You can't tell whether something is like a, a box that you can remove or a box that um, you can just take an orb out of. I'm starting to get the hang of it, but it's, um, really confusing at first. It's not at all intuitive. Hmm. Okay. This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. Alright, so if I take you out, then that door will close. Right? Yeah. Um... But what if I put you here? No good. Um, and some of these you can't take the light from and others you can. And the only way you can tell is if you shoot at them. So what's this heading to? It's heading to that. So we've got three charged things. Oh, okay. Can I take that out? No, why not? Oh, I gotcha. See. Um. That's another case where color coding would have really helped. Um, okay, so I'm basically right back where I started, I think. Yes. Um, I can't 
shoot under there, can I? I can. But... Doesn't particularly help. Ah, but I can do this. Good. My instance has just been updated. Uh, okay. Sorry? I have two instances of my mind, two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite, and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. I'll come back to that. Alright, so now I should be able to take this from outside of the room. Yeah, and that's a useless room, so no problem. Um, the fact that every surface is reflective is not helping. Okay. Um, flip this switch. That should let me take this out and the door will stay open yeah okay and I need two which is good great rolling right through these for now um, okay this okay not as straightforward as it seems spoke too soon I gotcha. All right. A little less straightforward, but straightforward nonetheless. Planetarium. Planetarium. This is the command center. No, you can check it's on the, the planetarium from here. Touch here, yes. Touch here. Do I have to mash it? Oh, I, I want to touch there. Okay. I guess I won't touch there. Oh. Oh, that's not how you use a microscope at all. What else is around? This thing is. Oh. I, I sure do love flipping things. The turning test. Well, it sure wants me to touch there, but it sure isn't letting me. Oh. Is it changing the positions each time I... Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, that doesn't really help me much, but whatever. A lot of lost signals. And these guys... Are these the sleeping people? I think so. Now there's some paper. That's not a key card, that's like a bookmark or something. That's a tool. Digital audio broadcasting. Okay. Touch here. Yes, touch. Alright. Europa base modules. Crew 4, status damaged. Repair disabled. Oh uh, no, never disable the repair. That's that's something that you probably don't want to turn off. 
Europa's base is built beneath Europa's surface, built in Theta Theramacula's ice. Its modular nature allows it to be reconstructed according to the mission's needs at any time. That's interesting. That explains why it's been turned into a huge testing facility. What's what's up here? It's more tests. Oh, stop. Stop changing the resolution. I don't like don't like it. No. Oh. So this is very um this is just like an outright portal clone. <laughs> but um I'm going to need to see some new mechanics before I don't dismiss it. And I hope they're coming because this is a very interesting um setup. And it could be interesting, or it could be terrible. Okay, where are we at now? Sector B11. What condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Oh. Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. A testing accident. Okay. This is an interesting one. Um. Okay. Good. Not as, as hard as it seems at first, but you need to get the right angle, so to speak. Not literally. There we go. Good. Could we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The you base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the uh, Mars base. I don't think that's Similar. how radiation works. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Okay, there's another one of those magnet things. So... Um, put this here... That should do. Yeah, um, ice doesn't protect from radiation as far as I know. Does that have a, a glowing thing in it? It has a red glowing thing. Oh, just a little more, just a little bit. Okay, now this one's working actually, so. Can I have this? Thank you. All right. Hmm. Is that a rough? No. Or a ceiling, rather. So this is, um, to its credit, doing a very good job at um, introducing single mechanics at a time. Though not as good as Portal did. Uh, you kind of have to do a bit of critical thinking.